I've been here before, a couple of years ago, and I just love it here. It's gorgeous, like it's hard to explain what it is about Cambodia that's just so magical, but it's just got something about it that's just amazing. I was actually uh, backpacking with one of my friends a year ago, and, like in Southeast Asia, and I fell in love with Cambodia. I guess I chose it for something different. Um, it's also close to Australia too, so it's not uh, too expensive, but it's, uh, it's also a wonderful place. Uh, our people are amazing here. I've, I've had a natural pull to it for a long time. I've sponsored a, a girl that actually is from uh, Phnom Penh um, since I was about 18 years old. So um, I just wanted to, to come here and um, experience um, the, the culture here myself. The temples and the culture and everything just drew me here. And then the program, not many have the human rights. And I also did that at university. So it was kind of like the perfect combination for me. Uh, so I'm in an NGO called FACT, uh, which is the Fisheries Action Coalition team, and they work with promoting human rights and um, in the fishery villages and giving them the power to make decisions for themselves. It's a Cambodian local NGO, and we work to alleviate poverty in uh, rural areas of Cambodia. Uh, we do that by economic development, and we promote agriculture, forestry, and like bunch of other stuff. What I do is uh, write proposals to get grants so that these people can use that money to help. <laughs> I'm teaching. Um, I've been doing it for three weeks and pretty much involves everything a teacher does back home, lesson planning um, and also looking back at uh, previous curriculum that the kids have done. So uh, I'm doing the teaching program. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I teach a, a morning class uh, 9 to 10 and uh, that's a, probably a level 3 class so it's uh, basic English. Uh, in the afternoon I take a more advanced class. Gorgeous. I absolutely love it here. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> it's 15 minutes uh, away by biking and it's amazing. It's also very close to all the uh, attractions, major attractions, tourist attractions, which is good too. Five minute walk from uh, the main street in town. But otherwise it's also nice and quiet too, so you don't have all those tourists buzzing around your house. And uh, They're pretty much uh, dorm style rooms and uh, it's quite close to town, so uh, the main part of Sam Reap, so it's all good, uh, close to uh, restaurants and things like that. Um, yeah, it's great. Well, we get food cooked for us every day. I think the weather for sure. Yeah. <laughs> I think the people, the smiles, the kids, you can see the culture itself is just wonderful. It's so opening. Um, yeah, it's just going to be different. It's going to be weird. Also, the weather too. The smiles on the kids' faces every day. I mean, they're they're great. Um, just being around them makes me happy. Um, I'll definitely miss them and the food. The general atmosphere of Siem like, Reap is just a gorgeous town. It's very different from Phnom Penh, but I love it here. It's quite touristy, but it's just yeah, an amazing atmosphere. The people. Oh, the people, definitely. The staff, everyone we've met here so far. Come with a very open oh, mind and pre be prepared to have no power and have no water and to oh, eat food that you would never, ever eat at home. Uh, have no expectations is uh, my main word of advice. Go in with uh, an open mind and expect anything um, and don't be disappointed because you won't be. Um, but yeah, look forward to it and yeah, just open mind. N never say no to anything. That would probably be my best advice. Don't say, don't say no. <laughs> Make friends with everyone. Yeah. Everyone you meet, the locals, the people you work with, the volunteers. Like, it opens up so many doors for things that you never thought possible.